What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I was really hoping this was going to be a Niv Mizzet himself, but unfortunately, it is just the Firemind's research. I don't care about his research. I was just hoping for the Firemind himself. Either way, we're doing a Ravnica Remix draft here, and uh, it's a lot of good things in this pack. I think we're going to lean toward the Law Mage's Binding. I feel like we've taken a Law Mage's Binding a bunch of times, and we never end up playing it because it just ends up not being in our colors, but I'm going to try it again. Because I think it's probably one of the higher, uh, the better cards in this pack. Oh, I do like a Guild Summit. I like a second Law Mage's Binding even better, though. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to go with the second Law Mage's Binding. I feel like the power level in these packs is higher. Like, this is two Savage Smashes back-to-back, -back, two Law Mage's Binding back-to-back. -back. Sphinx of New Prov. Hmm. Watcher in the Mist. Which is better here, 3-4 or 4-3? This guy's easier to cast and cost one more. I think I'm probably going to go with the Sphinx here. Because in the next packs, the next two packs, uh, it's focused on mostly monocolored. Um, so you can actually get more Watchers and maybe even more a Spirit, but I, I, I do like the Sphinx here. I have been very unimpressed. I mean, it's a 4-3 flyer for 4. Like, I mean, if you can... Um, I, I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't mind giving you a card to brew around. I just can't think of one at the moment. I... This is the same challenge I had yesterday. Um, Foil Lavinia. It's, it's exciting and it's, uh... It's tempting. Unfortunately, when you link uh, any modern constructed league, you have to let me know what deck you're... Oh, control F spicy, is that? Okay, that's actually great. I do like Wiltleaf Leeches. All right, let me see what we're taking here. Probably Syndicate Messenger. I don't think, don't think it's this, I don't think it's this. Could be unexplained disappearance, but I think we're going toward the Syndicate Messenger. Azorius Guildgate, Knight Arbiter I like a lot. Syndicate Messenger I like a lot. Sunhome Stalwart I like a lot. Ben, really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I will keep my eyes peeled. I want to take the the Knight Arbiter here because I think, uh, oh, well, we can just get another Syndicate Messenger. We could also take Basilica Bell Haunt, but I'd really rather stick to two colors here. Every time we go three colors, we have some kind of mana issue. Well, could take Is It Guildgate. I think it's probably better than just a random Capture Sphere. I'd rather just have the fixing in case we do end up wanting to go... Uh, Yeah, I actually saw this deck. I actually saw this this teachings deck, and I have no idea how it works. Look how long it takes for Magic Online to shift. But like, I even have it here. This is a little different one, I guess. That was this one has Arbor Elves and Utopia Sprawls, but this one had Nexus of Fate, Wilderness Reclamation. I guess it's just Take Heart. This is not an exciting pack. Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, even if you're watching on Twitch, you should go to uh, coolstuffinc.com. 
And you can check out my uh, Gen Demons article based on the deck that uh, Josh VS submitted. So go check out Cool Stuff Inc. And if you buy anything at Cool Stuff, you can use uh, promo code FRANK5 and get 5% off your purchase. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, the Lavinia came back? I mean, it's still just a 2 2 for 2. Okay. Oh, Flight of the Concords. I mean, Equinox. Add Rester's Admonition. We can take an Azorius Guild Gate. I think Arrestor's Admonition is probably better. That sounds nice, but unfortunately, my dog ate my underwear. Any suggestions for that? If your dog has eaten your underwear, you can definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore for 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And, you know, considering your dog probably did you a favor because MeUndies are super comfortable and they're made of micromodal fabric and uh, you can't really go wrong. But if you try to go wrong... You still probably can't because they're super comfortable. The end. I think we're taking the Arrestor's Admonition here. I don't think I care about Azorius Guild. Yeah, I kind of do. I do. Oh, Azorius Skyguard. I love passing Watery Grave and Overgrown Tomb. It's like the, the client is like, hey, idiot. Should have been playing Soul Time. This is a pretty easy pick. Oh, Night Veil Sprite is always a pretty easy pick. That card's great. I'm wearing minis right now. They're literally the best. Wow. Fantastic fantastic see what I mean it speaks for itself guys have they created skin mark proof undies yet I don't think so I feel like your adulthood should have created that but that is just uh, that is just my belief sacred foundry or is it guild gate again we can take cards that let us splash a red probably sacred foundry but if we get like we're not going to get ram I am, we'll just take the sacred foundry Eh, Senate's fine. Wishcoin Crab is fine. Sworn Companions is eh. It's probably just Senate Griffin. I'm wearing my undies and they're lacking. Well, there's a solution to this, my friend. Hmm. We could play Incubation, but we could not play the other half. That being the case, it's probably just Muse Drake. This is a lot of four drops, a lot of three drops, and not many two drops. Age giveth, age taketh away. Ain't that the truth? I guess we'll take one of these two. Good lord. Probably slime bind. Well, we do have lawmage just binding, lawmage just binding, and I guess that's it. I thought we had another one. Can't get enough of the golden crowns. We'll just take watchful giant. I don't love it, but I don't hate it, so that's where I'm at right now. Although we are sticking to two colors, which is nice and uh, somewhat rare for us, so. Collar the Culprit seems fine. Not thrilled about throwing another four drop into the deck, but. Always a fan of having exposed to daylight. See, this is why I switched to me undies. Their comfortable, relaxed fit, micromodal fabric, and cool designs will make it so you never mistake their undies for me undies. <laughs> oh man, that's good times. The green screen on your upper left is slightly kerfuffled. Um, no, that's not. That's the light coming in through behind me. There's no way to fix that. 
Like this is actually light coming in from this from the room light shining through, so there's no real way to get around that, unfortunately. See, like if I turn the green screen off, it's gonna ruin the it's gonna ruin the whole thing. You guys ready? Hold on, let me fix it. So if I turn it off, you can see you can see it's actually the light from the window. Actually, my mistake. It is a window light, and now now it's now it's ruined. The fourth wall has been broken. What if I brew a legacy deck? Uh, yes, yes, brew that, and I will play it for sure. I actually, um, Academy and Arena Rector are two of my favorite cards in Legacy. Decks, rather, I should say, decks with Academy Rector and Arena Rector are my favorite decks in Legacy. Um, it might just be this two drop to be quite honest. <laughs> I don't really want another four drop. And this guy is fine. Wow, that's sad. First pick Vernati shield mate. I like that the, uh, that the Twitch chat auto mod held the term black trash because that, uh, that is intuitive. And I appreciate that. Relive those teenage years and cover that window with black trash bags. And I was like, why, why was that flagged? And I'm like, oh. Actually, it might have just... Yeah, it was turned black trash. And I was like, geez. That's... That's a... It sucks that that's a term that has to be, like, flagged. But I'm glad it was caught. Because that's... Actual shit. <sighs> um... I like Shark to Crab and I like Artful Takedown, but we have more more red than we are blue or black and green. We have no way to fix these colors, but we have ways to fix reddish colors. I guess we could just take Quench. Just cover your windows with dark into plastic garbage containers. Yeah, I'm not gonna take Shark. It just doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. Again, like we can use discovery. I'd rather just have Demir Informant here. I like having a one four. Oh, Skate Wing Spy is interesting. Chance for Glory. I was hoping this was an Aurelia, and then I'd be like, yes, let's take that. Excellent. See, even if we took like disinformation campaign, like the number of things we have that surveil is like um two. <laughs> so it's like eh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's just Skatewing Spy. We don't have many creatures that get counters, though, so it's kind of just a mediocre 4-5 flyer for, like, 10 mana. With all the flyers, I wonder if Chance for Glory is any good. I'm going to take the Chance for Glory just in case it's any good. Luminous Bonds. That is a late Luminous Bonds. Oh, that is a late Narco Me, but let's take that. Just kidding, we're not taking that shit, Narcomiba. <laughs> I got him. We could take a Boros Guildgate and then, like, really have a good splash for red, but... Maybe we just want Vernati Shieldmate number two. Yeah, we don't. I'm hoping there's a good red card that comes by. I mean, I could, I could even see playing Rebel Recluse. I don't think we have to yet. We can just play Disdainful Stroke here. I could also see taking Prying Eyes and then just playing it over, like, Watchful Giant. I actually kind of like that. Oh, Sphinx's Insight is nice for this deck. All right, let's take that. Yeah, they definitely reprinted Narco at Rare, and it is kind of dumb. It just doesn't need to be a Rare. We have so much red fixing. We have two two red white lands, two blue or two two red white lands, two red blue lands. Meh. 
Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. these cards are exciting this is our 23 right now this is good this actually seems fine i'm surprised we have 23 creatures and if we actually play this on turn one followed by a night veil sprite it seems pretty sweet <laughs> eight seven one nope let's go eight eight that seems good let's do it Cape. This guy's going to go the distance. Oh, that was a that was a solid draw. So next time we can start Mentoring, and we have slime bind and take heart, and law mage is binding to prevent any kind of shenanigans. Unless they quench this, which they're going to, which is actually just amazing. <laughs> Never don't have it. Oh boy. Hey, buddy, I heard you're feeling good about your position. Yeah, well, I got a got a quench for you. All right, well, they missed the land drop, but we don't have any. No, they didn't have anything last turn, and they drew that land, so. Oh, well, just seems good. <laughs> For naughty shield mate, saves the day. You discarded a Golgari Find Broker. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. You got it. Yikes. Pretty sure we're actually just discarding, like, take heart and land. Might be slime bind to land. We have luminous bind. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of slime bind. In the land.
Thank you. Spag42, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. It's where they go devious cover up and they. Yep. You got it. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't prying eyes because we didn't have anything we wanted to discard to prying eyes. I don't want to draw four and discard two spells. We also didn't need anything in our hand. So I have no reason to draw more cards when I already have plenty of things to do. Prying eyes is best used when you have a bunch of things you can discard. And once we had a land, I was like, well, we'll probably draw another land in the next four, and we did not. So... Like, drawing four spells, discarding two spells is significantly worse than drawing four spells, discarding two lands. Like, it's worth noting, you shouldn't just prying eyes because you have it. Like, oh, I have six mana, I have a prying eyes, I might as well cast this now. Um, because then you're just gonna end up throwing away cards that you don't need to throw away. Hey, speak of the devil, three mana removal spell. Hypothesizzle again. Yep. What up, Drago End Step? No, it wasn't. I mean, I wouldn't say it was your mistake. It was just a difference in opinions. I mean, like, you could definitely prying eyes because it's mana efficient, right? You're using all your mana. And then you get to untap with a bunch of mana to play a threat. Um, the problem is, we're just not in, in really any hurry. Sure. Oh, this is not sealed. This is Ravnica Remix. Wow, third hypothesis. -al. Seems good. What do you kill Azorius Skyguard here? They killed the Sky Knight. Gates ablaze? Of course. Oh my god. We're having a good time, guys. We're having a real good fucking time. I have no idea what I'm playing against right now.
Yeah, I, I, I really thought this one was going to be sweet, but it's actually, it has not been. And that has been my experience. Which is kind of interesting because I expected it to be really, uh, like, I just, I just expected it to kind of be like a shakeup of, um, of like the, the Ravnica drafts, right? But it's, it's really been like whoever has the most broken deck wins and it's really kind of weird. Like, I always feel like we draft really solid decks and then our opponents end up doing like really broken combo things and I'm just like, okay, I didn't actually know the format was like that. It's just, I feel like I've even said this before. Like, I feel like I just have to keep saying this whenever we draft Ravnica Remix and I'm like, sorry guys, just not as good as, uh, as I expected, but I don't know. It's weird. And I have to hope we get like red land two two other lands two basics or not two basics but two two lands uh we're barely jeskai like we have a one red card in the main deck right now Well, survived. Fascinating. Sacred Foundry for that sweet, sweet Rubble Belt Recluse. Six damage, sure. Are I excited about Cube next week? More than you know, buddy. More than you know. Seems good. So they can basically go, oh, you just drew the quench. Cool. Gates ablaze. Well, if I saw two of these capture spheres. I 
Had I seen these two capture shares, we would have bought Expose the Darkness, whatever it's called, but we did not, so. Well, they have one card, so. And we finally won a game. Now we're definitely bringing Exposed to Daylight. I wish it was Exile, though, because I'd really like to get rid of a Gate Colossus forever with it, but... I feel like Takeheart's still going to be able to save something, but... Could see taking slime bind out with luminous lawmage lawmage, but the thing is, like, they have a lot of threats that I just really want to get rid of. Could see taking Demir and Foreman out. Well, not feeling great about things so far. Yeah, that guy's a pain in the butt. I'm just going to do this now because I really don't feel like I'm playing a gate this turn. They probably, like, with no gates on board, they're probably saving their gates to make sure they can get in and draw a bunch of cards with this guy, so... You quench this guy? Sure. Oh, fine. <laughs> then you gotta replay it again? Yeah, whatever. Apply biomancy, bounce this, give this plus one, yep. As we as we do.
Well, they have no red mana, so that's good. I guess they're, uh... Their Hydra Sizzle is out. Hypothesizzle? You know what I'm saying. You don't put it on this guy? That's interesting. Look in my eyes, what do you see? Oh, guild someone with no guild gates. All right, well. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We can actually tap one of these guys and just play Flight, which is probably better. Or we can just play 10th District and keep up Exposed, which is also even probably even better. Then we can get rid of the Capture Sphere. Wow, we win the game. <laughs> that first game was extremely frustrating, but apparently uh, playing uh, five colors in your deck is uh, actually a penalty. The deck seemed good. Now I feel weird about complaining, but the, the match of the game was frustrating. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. They had the every answer. Uh, they had... I don't know. That's weird. I did not expect that match to go that way. Cult of Personality. Did someone say Cult of Personality? Did someone actually mention... Because is that why this song is in my head? I'm trying to figure out why this In Living Color song is stuck in my head. Are you asking if In Living Color is doing a reunion? Is that a question you're asking? Because I don't know. Oh, the Silver Surfer 82 again. Man, me and the Silver Surfer 82 always end up playing each other. I'll keep this hand. It's not great, but it's got all the colors we want. Your opponent's name might have been Cult of Personality. I don't think so. But it is possible that that was something that happened. Night Vale spread off the top. One time. <sighs> 
Pretty sure my deck is worse this time. You always say this. <laughs> Rogue Optic, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. It's a song I wrote. Well, that's a big dude. I don't care for your big dudes. Remember that time we had uh, a lot of surveil cards to make this thought-bound phantasm bigger? Me neither. Oh, wow. Nine to three. Yeah, your deck seems really bad. <laughs> Again. I don't understand why you're saying your deck is bad. Sigh. What is, what is the chance of you drawing 11 lands? It's high. It's a high chance. High chance of lands today. I don't know, I'd say 100%. Twenty minutes of furious brewing later. All right, let's take a gander at this. Admit you had lethal. It doesn't it doesn't feel like I had lethal, I'll be honest.
Yeah, why would you ever keep this in the sideboard? It's just a 2 tier for 2. I want both of these, actually. Put on top, put on top. If you had a card that said deal damage equal to the amount of lands you have drawn this game, double that amount of your lands. <laughs> you would have had lethal. Yeah, that's true, actually. I can't even argue with that. So they're going to equip this guy. It's going to be a 3-1 and a 1-1. If they want to double block this, yeah, this is fine. Bottom. I mean, our opponent's getting mana screwed is definitely a way to win, but it's not the best. Nevertheless, when we get trampled on in game one, it's hard to complain about the mana screw in game two. The only thing better than this is if we top tech a Thoughtbound Phantasm, which I think we might have taken out. We have. Well, at least we should hit lands. You should definitely play Josh's Brew there. It should be both good fun. Rector Fit is fairly legit in Legacy. Oh, you would know, wouldn't you, buddy? You would know with your little Nick Fits. I just want to play him to Torok all the time. That's all I want to do. Even though I only put two in my deck, I'm really, I'm just a him to Torok fan. I just, I just play two. Got him. God, he got so wrecked there. It was almost tragic. Anything but a planes. Uh, I guess we can keep this place, Senate Griffin. Him is awesome. I agree with you. <clears throat> that is a great card. Now I'll keep any white source. Graveyard. And bottom.
Take two. Demir Guildgate. And now we actually don't need this anymore. So. Actually, maybe that would have been decent. I don't think we need that. I think with the selection we have with Night Vale Sprite is pretty good here. <sighs> oh, it's a conclave equid not. Actually, can we color the culprit here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're so close to just killing them. Now we just want lands. I don't I just don't care about any of the cards. All right, we're just doing it. We're gonna we're gonna actually two two one here. I'm saying two one because good lord. I said it definitely happens, but I think it almost crashed my computer. All right. Well, I'm actually going to take out the Thoughtbound Phantasm. It's pretty shite. I think Hunted Witness is even better by itself, but I think we're going to bring in... Actually, it's Expose has been good in every round. I, I don't think there's a, a deck in this format that doesn't benefit from an Expose. Any day now. Who is your favorite pro wrestler of all time? Man, I haven't uh, indulged in professional wrestling in ages. But if I had to say... It might be the Ultimate Warrior. Any island this hand gets good. Island. That's not an island either. Which is pretty embarrassing in retrospect. <laughs> in hindsight. Oh, well, cool. And then the game ended on turn three. 
just like Magic the Gathering does. Oh yeah, just phenomenal. No blocky. Bucket in my pocket. Bucket in my pocket. There's a bucket in my pocket. So they go expose, block, get wrecked. <sighs> Righteous blow? No, nothing interesting. <sighs> Can you get your last name changed? Yeah, I could, probably could. I don't see why I couldn't. I don't think there's any legal reason I wouldn't be able to do that. Will I? Probably not. That seems good. Seems very good. That is very good. Oh my god. That's amazing. I'm always surprised that I don't have... Okay, well, that's cool. The delay was so long that I actually closed it a second time. I'm like, oh, I'll just close both windows. Oh, God. Every game we're going to do this, really? Well, it was inevitable we wouldn't we wouldn't 3-0. Like, we knew that from the start, right? Like, I feel like we've beat the odds far too much already in this match, in this draft, so... Yeah. To be fair, if we hit a blue spell or a blue an island, we're actually uh, probably okay. And of course we don't. All right, so two games decided by literally our mana base. That's pretty sweet. But I mean, it's, it's it makes sense. Nine sources of each color is probably not enough in a deck like this. You probably want like twelve land, twelve of each color, so that when you can draw eleven lands, and uh, you know. And we're done. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I do apologize if I seem a little bit saltier than normal. Uh, the problem is this format doesn't seem great, and I don't know if I'm enjoying it. And I might be forcing myself to do it just because it's something to do that's new and exciting. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to playing some uh, some cube next week. So still, if you want, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporta. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Uh, you can also check out Mana Traders. And the link and promo code in the description will get you 20% off the first three months of any rental. So if you want to rent physical cards, if you want to rent Magic Online cards, you can do both of those and uh, find a plan that works best for you. You'll get 20% off the first three months. And also you can check out CoolStuffInc.com and use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off your purchase. Thank you guys so much. I will see you next time.